hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to uh, add analog and digital clock widget to your android activity and we are also going to make a small little app uh, of uh, these analog and digital clock widget so that uh, on the basis of button click uh, we can decide which clock we want to display so um, just go to your widgets or palette and in here you will see the category called date and time and in here you will see analog and digital clock there is one more type of clock which is called text clock uh, it works almost similar to the digital clocks so if you know how to use digital clock you will be able to uh, you know work with this text clock also so in this video I will just take uh, analog and digital clock but you can also use uh, text clock in a similar way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this uh, analog clock widget first and digital clock widget okay and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a button and on this uh, button click event what I am going to do is I am going to show or I am going to display or the widget on alternate uh, button click so I can uh, name my uh, button as swap clock for example okay now all three widgets are here so I can go to my uh, Java file which is mainactivity.java and in here I'm going to uh, add these three variables for the button clock uh, which is analog clock and digital clock. So now all uh, these variables are created. Now we just need to write a method on this button click which can swap these clocks. So we are going to write the method public void on button click listener for example no argument we are going to pass and in here we will uh, cast these three variables once again so So now we have uh, casted our three variables and now we will add uh, the listener to our button variable. So I will just take this button submit variable and we will add set on click listener to this button and inside the set on click listener we will set a new on click listener. Okay and inside this on click method what we are going to do is we are going to check this uh, digital clock so if this digital dot get visibility and if uh, it's this digital class dot gone then we will make it visible so in our if condition we will make our digital clock visible so digital dot set visibility 
and we will make it visible so digital clock dot visible okay at the same time we will uh, you know set the visibility of analog clock to gone okay so analog clock or analog dot set visibility and analog clock dot gone else we will do the opposites okay so else and in here we will uh, do just the opposite of uh, th this action which is we are going to disable digital clock and make visible the analog clock okay now we just need to uh, call this method inside our on create method and now we are going to run our program so now our app is running you can see for the first time both clocks are visible and they uh, dynamically runs so if uh, here the time changes this clock uh, time also changes okay now let's check the functionality of this button so when i click swap clock this uh, digital clock is not active but analog clock is active right now once again i will uh, click swap clock and now my digital clock is active and analog clock disappears right so on this button click one clock appears and other clock disappears right so in this way you can uh, use this uh, analog clock and digital clock in your android activity i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now